In this video, we're going to talk about three types of trading algorithm used by institutions. Stay tuned. Hey traders, a very warm welcome to you. So in this video, we're talking about three types of trading algo used by institutions and indeed you if you've got enough money to warrant it. Okay, let's talk about them. So the first one we have is VWAP. And by the way, guys, if you haven't checked out a previous video where I talked about what is an algo, goes into some basic details there, but ultimately I think we know what it is, kind of computer-driven execution model rather than someone sitting there tapping away or making a phone call. So the first one I've got for you is VWAP, which is Volume Weighted Average Price. Now, what this aims to do is this algo aims to match the VWAP of the instrument over a specific period of time. If you've got your charts and you put up the VWAP, you'll see how um, it's basically a moving average that's weighted ultimately by volume. So more volume gets done, the more weighting that gets given as opposed to just price on a moving average. And over the day, you'll have a VWAP, and that's the end of the closing day VWAP price, and that's basically the average price, again, weighted by volume. So the idea of this VWAP is that it will mirror the kind of trades throughout the day to try and get that VWAP price or whatever. So let's just say we want the VWAP for the day. Let's keep it simple. We can have different types of time frame, but let's say we put into the algo, hey, I want us to buy a million shares of XYZ stock uh, at the VWAP. So what they're gonna do is uh, this, imagine this chart here, this is the volume profile of the day. Okay, so imagine this is the open, we have high volume in the morning as we generally do at the open, a very quiet kind of lunchtime period, and then maybe a little bit more volume coming into the closing period here. So this is the close, this is the open. I've simplified it a bit, and maybe sometimes you get more at the open, but generally speaking, let's just assume that's the volume profile for the day. Now the algo in a VWAP will aim to do this. So in other words, it'll aim to mirror this exact profile. Now, how does it base its decision-making process? With VWAP, it based that on the general volume profile of historic data. So rather than different types of algo, which I haven't included here, which will do a proportion of the volume in an hour. So let's say an hour does X amount, then the, the volume will be, the, the algo will, do X percent of that amount. The VWAP actually says, okay, what's the volume profile traditionally for this market? So it works very well for like thicker, very liquid instruments, like, you know, your, your futures in the, uh, indices, um, you know, thick commodities and thick stocks, heavy volume stocks, that kind of thing. And it mirrors it and it says, okay, I know I need to do, you know, I know how many I need to do in total. So I know I need to do X percent here, X percent here. So the algo works out how to do that. Now, the good thing about that is that it minimizes price impact. If you've got a big order to do, it's gonna minimize the impact. It's basically executing you know, more volume when the, when the market can handle it. Instead of you coming in and executing kind of this kind of volume here, which is gonna really impact the market, it knows when the market can soak up that extra volume. So that's your VWAP, volume weighted average price trade, a volume driven trade. Uh, then we've got TWAP, which is time weighted average price. So imagine you've got the same volume profile here, guys. We've got you know a bit of spike in the morning and then a big spike in the after, in the uh, towards the close. That's what the volume would look like on whatever instrument we're trading. TWAP basically does this. Pretty simple. It just slices it throughout the whole of the day and accepts what the thing, whatever price it gets at the end. So it splits it into segments, and obviously depending on the algo, whether that's going to be and how much size you've got, whether that's going to be in the kind of you know seconds, minutes, or hours. Um, but it's going to execute at set intervals a set amount over the whole of the day and the price you get is whatever. So obviously it's different to VWAP and obviously you could have an advantageous then because if you get like a, you know, an early price move and then a late sort of dive to the downside or something and you've gone short early, then it's going to work in your favor. Whatever, you've got to have a reason to do it. Obviously very little market impact on this. It's just putting in small orders. Obviously you've got to be careful and I would guess that the algo would flag up and say, hey, you know what? You're trying to execute too much of the volume during that time period. You know, maybe this isn't suitable for you or whatever. But you can see the downfalls of that compared to the VWAP and the pluses and minuses. Now, again, this is a volume driven based strategy because it's purely trying to stretch out the order over a period of time based on it's to kind of split up the volume. Even though this TWAP is not looking at volume as such, 
it's still saying, okay, uh, I understand that volume it plays an impact here. I'm not gonna smack this straight into the market. I'm gonna spread it over time, reduce my market impact and split my volume. Okay, and both of these can be either aggressive or passive, guys. So in other words, you can either have something tweak it to say be more aggressive under certain conditions or be more passive, i.e. you just put orders in and let the market come to me. Um, you know, obviously you're gonna have some pros and cons with that. More aggressive, you're gonna get worse fill, but you're gonna get, you're definitely gonna get your order done. Passive, you might not get your order done. Uh, etc. You get the idea. Right, number three is steps. And this is more of a, a price-driven algo. Let's put a bracket on here because it's completely different. So steps algo, um, different here. If you look at this chart, I think you can just about see it. We've got participation level here for the algo in this red step type of thing. And then you've got price here, which is kind of a U-shape. So we've simplified it and said, okay, we've got this U-shape in price. In other words, price start, uh, starts up at the highs, comes down to the lows and ends up at the highs. Now we've got an algo in this example that says, I want to buy however many shares of XYZ stock or whatever futures it's gonna be. And so what the algo will do, it will participate more aggressively when the price is more in our favor. So here, when um, you know price is quite high, it's gonna buy a little bit. You know, as price starts to come down in this sort of zone here, it gets a bit more aggressive. And boy, it gets really aggressive when the price is at lows, I in this period here, it starts to buy sort of three times the amount because it's a price, it's a good price for the algo. It's a good price, it's gonna do a really good job for the ending price, uh, the ending average price or the ending fill price, if you like. So it steps up the aggressiveness as the price comes down to you and then vice versa you know as the price starts to push away again and you'd have to pay higher prices it drops down the participation and says okay i don't want to buy so much here and then as it gets further and further away you know it doesn't buy so much this is really why you know if you see um i don't want to rub it off because you may still be looking at it but let's just put it here um if we can just see i'll tell you what let me get a better color pen so we can see it uh, more clearly uh, guys i think i've got my black pen in my pocket now I'll use my blue pen um, if you can imagine I can do it a little bit up here that we have uh, let's stick it here we have you know price moving down moving down moving down then moves back up again so if you get a mean reversion I didn't really need to draw that anyway but if you get a mean reversion type day where you push up and push down this is kind of why because if everyone's using a step type of algo or variation of that you know they're participating less when price moves away from a mean. So if you've got, um, you know, different people doing different things, as the price moves away from a mean, the buyers are gonna participate less because again, it's going higher and then the step logic says, don't buy it so much when it's high, but the step sellers are gonna become more aggressive. So that brings it back down again, overshoots, buyers come in, and then you kind of, sometimes that's where you get it sitting in the, in the middle, in the mid range or the VWAP, because ultimately both of the algos are just gently buying and selling with each other. Whereas when you get the extremes, one of them backs off, the other one gets more aggressive, and that's what causes the supply demand, supply demand imbalance shift. All right guys, hope you enjoyed that introduction to trading algos. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so already or consider subscribing notification bell if you want to be notified for new videos and all that jazz comments below welcome as always good trading take care bye bye